I call them belongings because uh, uh, when we dig into the earth, when, when uh, archaeologists dig into the earth, they dig up graves. Many times they're grave sites. They're official grave robbers. Uh, and I've said that to the archaeologists. Uh, uh, and many times people are buried with things that are important to them or they are important to, to the family that is putting away their loved ones for that person to be able to be in the other world, in the spiritual world, with their belongings with them so that they can use them in the other world. Uh, and it, they belong to somebody. They didn't just appear in some pile of dirt that was already carved or, or shaped or whatever it was used for. Uh, it belonged to someone. And that's how it was always explained to us. Uh, as a boy, the mortuary houses along Sela Drive were still existing. There were several mortuary houses that my older brother and I could see through the windows or through the cracks in the wall. And we could see things in there that were very, very interesting to young boys and asked our mom, how do we get in there? And there's stuff in there. And mom said, don't you touch that. It belongs to somebody. It belongs to whom? It belongs to that person that's in that house. So if that person's dead, but that's his belongings, his or her belongings. They belong to that person. Leave it alone. They have to take it with them. And that's why I, I use the word belongings. Mm -hmm.